In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to recover files from a formatted drive on a Mac. So if you format your drive and you've lost a bunch of files that, uh, that you needed uh, by accident, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use this data recovery software to, uh, to locate the data and to restore it and recover it pretty quickly and with uh, very little pain. So um, what, what happens typically when you, when you format a drive or even if you delete a file or anything, the file is not actually deleted. I mean, even if you empty your trash bin, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that, that the file is gone. Uh, the file actually re res resides in, um, in between the volumes on the, on the hard drive, um, which is also tied into the memory. But without getting technical, the point is that the files can be recovered, but, but you have to have special software in order to recover those files. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to show you how to uh, to recover those files. Um, again, no matter whether you've deleted them, uh, you formatted the drive, or um, you know if you accidentally removed it, uh, emptied your trash bin, and you're looking for some of those files. So uh, the first thing you want to do is go to the URL uh, below this video and click on that, and you'll come to this page right here, and this is the this is the download page. Um, it's uh, recovermyfilesnow.com slash recover hyphen mac hyphen files um, or just click the link below the video I think that may be the, the easiest thing to do and then what you want to do is you want to click on the uh, start download button and that will download the software and then it's just a matter of following the instructions just install it like you would any other software and um, then I'll, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this video and I'll show you what how we're going to go ahead and find those files and get them recovered for you. Okay, now that you've downloaded the software um, and installed it, go ahead and launch it uh, from the Applications folder and this is what you'll see. This is the first screen that comes up. Okay, so what you want to do is go ahead and click on the Recover Data, this big blue button here and it's going to give you uh, a variety of options so you know depending on, on what you're trying to do um, you can do um, there's something here called a quick recovery and I have found that to be the fastest I mean these other ones are I think go a little more in depth on the hard drive and, and look deeper for files but I would say at least nine times out of ten the file that you're looking for is going to be found just by doing the quick recovery so I would recommend that um, but there are other options. Uh, the delete a recovery that does that does take a little bit uh, longer because it's 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 digging through all these unused blocks of volume to to find find it. And then the formatted media lost file recovery. Um, you know this one this one will find lost files. Um, it, it's good for uh, a drive that's been having issues. Um, but it does take a long time to run. I mean you're going to kick that one off and you know and go away for for a good number of hours, um, but it's fine. You know, it'll run. In, it'll run. You know, while you're doing other things, so it's not not a problem. And then the other option is you can search uh, lost or deleted volumes here. And then at the top, of the tab is just you. You can do a specific photo recovery, um, an iPod recovery, and then this raw recovery is more for uh, kind of a last last resort, a last ditch effort. Um, if you don't find the files um, doing just you know the quick recovery or the other recoveries um, but again I, I would recommend uh, doing the quick recovery first and then uh, one thing about that even if you want to make that faster because that can take you know on a hard drive you know still anywhere from 10 minutes you know up to up to an hour just depending on how big the drive is and how much data is on the drive but you can go up here to uh, to the menu and then go into uh, preferences here. If you go into preferences, you'll see that you can do um, instead of searching for every single type of file, you can specify the photo recovery, right? And you can go down, and there's all the different extensions. So here's a JPEG, uh, TIFF files, uh, bitmaps, GIFs, PNGs. So you could select, you know, unselect or select only the ones that you want to recover. So, for instance, if you lost uh, a whole bunch of photos 
uh, that you took on vacation and they accidentally got deleted or um, you know the, the drive crashed and you can't find them and you're pretty confident that they were JPEG images then just select JPEG and then that way um, you can just look specifically for those files the scan will go uh, much quicker so that's just uh, just one of those little time saver things but it's not necessary um, again this is just if you want to, to target specific types of files so you can do photos audio video um, whichever ones there's these these buttons right below the right below the list here you can you can click on those um, so but in this case I'm just going to sh show you um, we're going to go ahead and just do run a quick recovery on the entire hard drive so right now we're just going to leave this preferences alone so I'm just going to click uh, cancel here and then we're going to go ahead and click on this quick recovery Okay, then it's going to ask us uh, which which um, hard drive to, to recover. And by default, you're going to use your Macintosh hard drive. So that's the one that's selected right now. Um, it gives us the drive information over here on the right um, in case we, you know if that helps us identify which drive we need to do. Um, and then this button on the bottom right-hand side, just click that. And now the scan is in progress. So it's going to it's going to scan. All the all the volumes on the hard drive for files and folders. So any files or any missing folders, it's gonna it's gonna keep working. It's gonna keep scanning, and it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna bring those files uh, in a list for us. So while this is running, though, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video because I'm sure you guys don't want to be seeing this thing run uh, for 10 minutes or more. Um, and then and then when we come back, I'll show you uh, I'll show you how to recover the files. Okay, the scan is complete. So we just click OK here. And we can see all of the files that it was able to recover. Well, at least the folders at this point. Uh, when you drill down into folders, you'll be able to see the files. Um, it's, you know, you can, you can go to it from here if you know which one of these folders your file is in. Otherwise, I find the simplest thing to do is just click up here on the upper left hand where it says File List. If you click on that, what it does is it organizes the files by file type. So you've got videos, you've got documents, which can include Microsoft Office files, um, such as Word or Excel. Um, you've got text, you've got uh, application files if you're looking for an application file of some sort, uh, you've got, and you've got photos and audio. So let's say like if you click on Photos, and then over here in the right pane you can see that it actually shows you the different extensions for the photos it was able to recover. So if you were looking for a JPEG file, you just double click on that. It'll take you just a minute. I mean, there's quite a few files here, so. And then it lists all the files. So you can organize those, you know, uh, sort them by file name. If you're looking for a specific file name, um, you can just sort it by that. Um, the other way to sort is by creation date. So let's say it's a file you just created yesterday, a, a Word document or something like that. Um, sort it by date, and then you can uh, you can pick it up that way. So what you're going to do to restore restore a file, though, is you're just going to click on whichever ones you want to restore. So you select, you know, you can select many, few, none. Um, so that's a way to do individual files. If you just have a handful of files, um, you can do it that way. Um, the other way is if you go over here to the left. See where it says photos. You can check on that box, and, and now all all the, all are selected. So once you select what you want to do, you just go down to the bottom right hand corner, and you click on that recover button. And what the recover button will do is it'll it'll prompt you and ask you uh, where you want to restore those files to. So you got to select a location. So if if you have um, if you're dealing with a faulty drive or an SD card or a um, you know a thumb drive of some sort then you're going to need to put it in a different location because you don't want to put recovered files on a on a, a drive that has some type of issue with it so you want to put it in a in a clean location so you'll have the opportunity to do that you know the opportunity to create a folder to put it into so um, just keep that in mind uh, as you're doing this as you're doing this recovery because you know we are dealing with and in some cases we're dealing with um, with bad drives. In other cases, if we just accidentally delete it, we just need to restore it um, and then create some type of folder to put those restored files into.
So that's, that's it for this tutorial. Um, I hope it was helpful, and uh, good luck.